Good morning. Morning. It's day eight, I think. Eight or nine. <laughs> We're of our we, lost, aren't we? we are <laughs> fascinating Far East uh, cruise on Morella Discovery Two. Um, yesterday was a day in Singapore. We had a day on our own to explore Singapore and it was a full day because very we, busy, wasn't it? <laughs> we had an overnight here in Singapore last night, so we yeah. we made the most of it and it was a, a really tiring but incredible day yesterday. Um packed a lot in. Didn't we? Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> so we started off early in the morning, got yeah. off the ship about eight thirty and we used the MRT. Uh, which is brilliant, so easy to use. We're quite used to that now. Yeah, you soon get the yeah. hang of it. Um, so we headed into town. Um, the first thing we wanted to do was to go and see the Merlion, which is the, the, the sort of national symbol of Singapore. Yeah. There's a big statue out on the Marina Bay, Bayfront area, which is a big fountain spraying water everywhere. It packs all the, all through the day, doesn't it? Yeah, with people well, there. We got there early thinking it would be okay, but it was yeah. packed then, wasn't it? Was it? Absolutely round with people. people. Pushing you out of the way to get photographs. Everybody wants that Instagram <laughs> photo. Um, yeah. Because uh, it's quite a popular Instagram um, uh, sort of uh, location where people try and snap themselves with the Merlion drinking the water from its mouth. That's it. Um, <laughs> And everybody's trying to do the same thing. It's quite yeah. a spectacle actually to see everybody striking the same pose. There's like hundreds <laughs> and hundreds of people all there, all trying to do the same thing, like, uh, like that. <laughs> including us, by the way. We, yeah. we had a, well, we had, we had to do it, didn't we? When in Rome, you know, uh, or when in Singapore. Um, but um, so that was that. And uh, then we made a walk into uh, the town, and we thought it was, yeah. it was kind of like mid morning ish, and I like the 11s is. Uh, oh, it was so hot as well because yeah. it was about um, 34 degrees it and it got degrees. really hot really quickly, didn't it? And the sun was really out in the morning and the sun was strong mm, as well. Really um, strong. And we decided to try and dip in and pick ourselves up a snack. We went to one of those fabulous orange juicing machines that we oh, love. Um, that's amazing. Okay. It was three, this time it was three Singapore dollars, wasn't three it? Three Singapore dollars. But you got six oranges. Yeah, so six oranges in more there. juice this yeah. time. Yeah, but really nice. Uh, yeah. And we went and picked up to a local bakery and yeah. we tried some different um, different sort of local um, cakes and things like Mine that. Mine was nice. You weren't too sure about yours. Well, I had a cheese <laughs> bun and it looked like a sort of like a brioche type bun with yeah. some cheese melted on the top. But it had sugar, didn't it? But randomly, it had sugar in it, <laughs> yeah. um, which was. I, I, it just didn't work for me, but um, you didn't eat it, or you didn't really like I got it. Through, much, I got through eighty percent of it, but I think that that uh, there's a conflict of tastes there between yeah. the the sort of the sweetness of the sugar <laughs> and the cheese, which was quite short, sharp cheese. And you didn't sell it to me, so I didn't try any. No, <laughs> which goes to say a lot, I think. Yeah. Um, but we were going to try and get off to St John's Island, which is an island off the off the coast here. Uh, yesterday, uh, but I'm um, <laughs> mucking about trying to find cakes and things. We we kind of overshot the time, time uh, and so we missed that mm. that opportunity to get that ferry out there because there's quite restricted timings on the ferry. So either yeah. go in the morning and then come back in the afternoon. We missed the last morning ferry, yeah. so um, we decided then to give that a miss and go oh, to the other things, weren't there? <laughs> gardens by the bay and do the amazing cloud forest, uh, which was um, was it twenty eight dollars each. Was it or twenty four dollars each to get in? Yeah, twenty four, I think. And, and if you know, on the face of it, it's a bloody great greenhouse. But what a greenhouse! Um, it's 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 amazing. And the first thing you're greeted with is the supposedly the largest indoor waterfall in the world, and it's mm. it's spectacular, isn't it? It is, yeah, absolutely spectacular. And they've they've done this uh, sort of sort of um, geo dome or enviro dome. Um, with different zones in it, with different types of plants yeah. from all types of forests around the There's world. Mach Machu Picchu, orchids and stuff like that, wasn't there? Yeah, and they've mm. kind of got plants from different sort of areas of rainforest from yeah. all around the world. And actually, it's, it, there's different climates as you go around it mm. as well. Unless you get higher up. Yeah, it gets mm. it gets colder as you get higher up. And you can take lifts to the top of the dome and then there's just walkways that take yeah. you around the various climate zones. Um, it's really lovely, isn't it? Yeah, and, mm. and it's so well kept, and there's yeah. so much to do, and there's interactive exhibits, and um, mm. they label all the plants as well, I don't know, although yeah. one of them was a bit of a tongue twister that nearly caught you out as you were reading reading that. I'll put it on the screen <laughs> as, we, as we do this. I could hear you chuckling a mile away. Um, but, um, yeah, so, uh, but that was that was a really sort of 
fun few hours. Yeah. It was about an hour and a half to get around and do it all, wasn't it? Yeah, and it was nice. It yeah, was yeah, really nice. Really, really, yeah. really nice. Um, so we were out of the uh, cloud forest, and then Singapore does present you with a a bit of a dilemma, really. Well, for some, it's not a dilemma, but Singapore is renowned for its very expensive drinks. You can either go to the Raffles yeah. Hotel and do the long bar thing for the Singapore Sling at about yeah. thirty-eight pound a go or thirty-eight dollars a go. We, we gave that a miss, didn't we? Or you can go to the Spargo <laughs> Bar at the top of uh, at the top of the Marina Bay Sands Hotel, and lots of visitors do that for mm. that experience. But the other thing it's renowned for is this incredibly cheap food in the hawker centers and we decided we would choose food over drink um <laughs> always <laughs> always um and we headed off to find a hawker center and the first one we found was the moy food center wasn't it mm. yeah it was a bit smaller that one quite small mm. um but uh it was, food was delicious packed as always but the food was incredible and we had yeah. to try the uh, the chicken dishes that this uh, Singapore's famous. Well, course. you had the chicken rice, didn't yeah. you? And I had duck. You had duck rice, didn't yeah. you? I forgot about mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And, and out of five? Yeah, five out of five. That was, it was delicious. Yeah. And likewise. Yeah. In, the food here is incredible. Yeah, really nice. <laughs> Absolutely yeah. incredible. You know, why pay $38 for, you know, a drink when you can yeah. pay $3.80 or $4 for, you know, a massive great plate oh, of food, food which yeah. is absolutely gorgeous really nice. we yeah. had that nice can of drink as well that lemon mm. that honey lemon drink yeah that's exactly. really nice isn't yeah. it you know we both eat mm. for under 10 we both ate for just over ten dollars i think it was and that's with yeah. drinks as well yeah. and, uh, and that wouldn't have even bought one singapore sling and uh, it was certainly filled us up didn't it yeah ab absolutely we needed that as well by then we we, we were quite hungry um so it gave us a bit more to power on through yeah. the day didn't it and the food's that tasty as well mm. you know, it stays with you during the day as well it's fantastic well that was good so that was the amoy food center yeah. and then we went and then i really wanted a coffee and i would i'd heard that the singapore coffee uh is particularly sweet and has a very distinctive flavor and uh, so we went and I'm found not a coffee drink. no but we went and found the nanyang <laughs> old coffee shop uh, was it Nang Yang? I think it was Nang Yang Gold Coffee Shop. And you know, wow, the coffee was incredible. And if you're in Singapore and you like your coffee, definitely try some of the local coffee because it is a very distinctive flavour and um, very, very strong. I had a milk tea and yeah. that was very nice. And also yeah. very strong as well. Yeah, very strong as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. And sweet. And sweet, mm. uh, a bit of a theme going on there. <laughs> but um, it was you know, really, really nice and a nice setting as well just to sit yeah. out and just take in some of that coffee culture. Uh, then we were close to Chinatown, or we were in Chinatown, so we then did some shopping. Didn't shopping, we? yeah. That was, the markets were lovely, weren't they? Yeah, we we had some. We needed to get some like um, souvenirs and that, um, so we did, didn't we? We yeah. got some nice souvenirs and things. Treat myself to a nice new T-shirt. There you go. It's quite interesting. <laughs> people say that Singapore's expensive, and actually, in large areas of the city, it is. There are parts of the city where the prices you can buy are comparable to what we saw in Malaysia and in Thailand as well. As you said, there are yeah. some bargains and, and deals to be had around if, if, you, yeah. if you shop. If you look around, yeah. And we were comparing things that we saw in Malaysia with what we saw in Singapore yesterday and we're thinking, well, actually, that actually works out the same price. Um, yeah. So, um, and a nice bit of retail therapy. <laughs> and then it was time to take a beer, wasn't it? What beer, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That was just at the end of one of those streets, wasn't it? That's right. Mm. So, um, you know, we decided we needed to stop for a beer, so we enjoyed a nice beer, uh, a nice Which sort Which was of... well needed. It was a very, very hot day. Mm. Uh, my fan even came out. Oh, the old cooling fan, yeah. 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 <laughs> Most of the day, that was out. Yeah, you were um, using that quite a lot yesterday, weren't yes, you? Yes, yeah. really did need it yesterday. Um, so mm. that was that, and then we yeah. walked over to, oh, so apparently Clark, Key is one of these areas that Singapore's renowned for with its bars and cafes and restaurants and those. So we decided we'd head across to Clark Key. I also quite fancy taking the riverboat cruise, which yeah. had been recommended to us as well. Um, well, we, we didn't get on the other boat, so we thought we'd try the riverboat, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. I'm glad um, we did. It was great, wasn't it? Mm. So we first went over to uh, Clark Key, and mm. it is a, a sort of an entertainment district with bars and restaurants all up and down the riverfront there. Um, and uh, we booked our tickets for the for the bum boat, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. Uh, but we had to wait. Yeah, they're called bum boats. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we had to wait for a while before the you know, before we set sail. So we went and found a, a bar and yeah. um, had a pint of Sapporo in yeah. there, which was quite nice on a happy hour. Yeah, nice um, and refreshing. So a couple of beers were going well. <laughs> um, and then we took the riverboat ride, which took us up and down the river. And it was a 
very informative, wasn't it? Excellent. It was, yeah. And we got to see the um, the mer lion from a different angle as well, which was nice. Yeah, w away from mm. the crowds. Yeah. <laughs> um, but um, you know, all the history of, of the city and yeah, it was, it was all very interesting, wasn't it? Unraveled on the on the boat tour, yeah. wasn't it? it was very good, very good indeed. So that was definitely worth doing. And then yeah. when we got back, the heavens opened, and um, <laughs> we've been lucky so far. We've not had no. any rain really, apart from a few spots on our. Yeah, tour in, in that Ritchie Park, but nothing enough was no. it? We wanted it to open then because we were so hot, but it didn't, did it? But this time it did. It really did yeah. chuck it down, didn't it? Yeah. You know? And you bought your brolly, which was yeah. a, which was a godsend. You know? Yeah. Um, but we well, took some shelter for a bit. Didn't we? So good because it's good to keep the sun off or you're for the rain. So you ah, know, absolutely. Mm. Um, so you know, we uh, then decided that by that time we'd done the riverboat cruise and stuff. It was time to eat again. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it's expensive drinks or cheap food. Cheap food always wins. Um, it does, doesn't it? Funny yeah. that, doesn't it? It, well, it was in the evening, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was nearly tea time, wasn't it? Yeah. It was. but wasn't it around six o'clock around that time? Mm, uh, nearly tea time. Yeah. yeah. But um, we went and found a different hawker centre, so we went yeah. to the Maxwell Which food centre. Which was a lot bigger. It was a lot bigger, a lot more uh, stalls there. Yeah. A little bit more expensive, but not yeah. horrendously more expensive. You could get some very, very reasonable it, food. It depends on what you were looking for. I yeah. looked around and I got a little bit put off because I was sort of saw this dish and it says like small intestines. And I thought, oh my God, it's not really me, that. I think, <laughs> but we found some nice stuff. I think you can <laughs> you can eat all sorts in the these stuff, places. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it always <laughs> pays to read the menus, but the menus are in English, so in you, English, you, yeah. you do know what, what you're buying. Um, but... The, the the prices were, I think, a little bit more expensive. So whereas the Amori yeah. Centre was around about $4 a meal, uh, this one was around $6 yeah. a meal. Yeah. I mean, $6 a meal is is still cheap for what you get because you yeah. get a massive plate full of food and it's incredibly tasty and definitely worth worth the money. Well, we went it? for chicken rice. We both had the same, didn't we? But it was like the chicken in a, in breadcrumbs, wasn't it? This was a bread, it was like a breaded cutlet yeah. or something again, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. with, yeah, well. with um, it was oh. an egg fried rice, wasn't it? Yeah, and the, the other one yeah. we had was, a little soup well. was all kind of steamed and roasted, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, but it came with like a little, little soup as It came well, with a soup as well. I mean, yeah. all for $6. Mm -hmm. It was an incredible value. Um, yeah. And by the time we'd right. soaked up the atmosphere in the, in the Hawker Centre, yeah. we wanted to go and see the gardens by the bay a light show with yeah. the super trees. So it was a dash back to the MRT and down to the super tree grove. Yeah. And that was fantastic. Wasn't it was it? absolutely amazing. When we came the first time, um, they weren't. it wasn't showing. So um, it's to do with Chinese New Year, wasn't it? It was. But this time it was showing and it was awesome. And what we learned when we were in the cloud forest was the super trees are actually act as a uh, solar power um, yeah. for the um, the geodomes themselves, as well as harvesting yeah. rainwater for using in the uh, you know environmental controls. And they are incredible. But they're also yes. vertical gardens in their own right. They've actually got foliage and plants growing up on, yeah. on them, and they're there's this light show that's kind of built into it that comes to life most evenings, isn't yeah. it? And it's all done to music. Um, oh, draws amazing. a crowd, but yeah. really good. Really nice. Really good. Yeah. And after that, we were knackered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could say that, couldn't you? You couldn't hardly walk. <laughs> we were absolutely knackered. So, what a full-on day. In the heat as well. In the heat. Yeah. But luckily, we know how to use the MRT, <laughs> so it was back on the MRT, yeah. back to the ship. But we didn't really have much energy to do much on board the ship. No. Go. To be fair, we were back on board at around about half nine, weren't we? Yeah. So, so um, yeah. we'd had a, we'd had a, that was it, a full wasn't it day. for us. So today it's another, well, it's a part stay in Singapore. We've got yeah. to be back on board at half, half past one. one today. Uh, it's what's new, nine o'clock now. Um, yeah, we were up a bit late this morning, I think, because we were so tired from yesterday. <laughs> yeah. We'll have a couple of hours ashore this morning uh, after breakfast yeah. and then uh, back on board ship because we're heading off towards Bangkok. Yeah, so this afternoon I think it'll be mainly sleeping <laughs> <laughs> well, well, on the lounges. Thanks for joining us and we'll give you an update tomorrow. Yay! Cheers. Bye! Bye. Oh, good morning. Good morning. So day 10 out of our Umbrella Discovery 2 Fascinating Far East cruise and uh, it's a day at sea today. I hope we are up late. So, uh, yeah. We were, we're shattered, aren't we, at the moment? So we're looking forward to a nice, relaxing day today. There'll be plenty of sleeping, I think, <laughs> yeah. at some point during the day. But anyway, let's talk about yesterday. Yesterday, we were still in Singapore, 
Uh, we had just half a day in Singapore, so we had to be back on board at 1.30 uh, p.m. in the afternoon, which means we didn't have a lot of time uh, to do much in, in Singapore. So, But we did use it. We did fill it, didn't we? We did, yeah. Um, an unexpected and unplanned climb up Mount Faber was how we started the day. So <laughs> when you came, uh, come out of the... Uh, the cruise harbour terminal, um, you can go across the road. Uh, we should point out actually there are two cruise harbour terminals um, at, uh, at Singapore. Uh, the one that Morella uses is down at the harbour front area and just outside of that there is a big sort of shopping mall and everything which is really nice but you can go out in front across the road and you can start to climb up into what looks like a little bit of rainforest and jungle yeah. and there's a trail through there and you can climb up Mount Faber which provides a nice viewpoint over over the uh, the harbour area. I find it um, hard going um, since it was first thing in the morning and it was very humid. Mm. Uh, it was 34 or 35, something like yeah. that. Yeah. And I, by the time I got to the top, I actually, my face was bright red. I looked like I'd just come out of a shower. <laughs> <laughs> I think as we found on the previous walks through the rainforest, there is no breeze in there. And, uh, you know, the humidity and the heat does actually really sap you, especially as yeah. it's quite a steep climb as well. So um, lots of steps, but well <laughs> worth it. And the good thing about at the yeah. top is, of course, you can get a cable car mm -hmm. over to Sentosa Island, which is what we were aiming to do. Yeah. So get the cable car. It works out about forty pound for a pass on the two main cable car lines, one over to the island and one across the island. Um, uh, so you can use that, for, you know, as much as you like for it, like a day pass if you like. Um, and the other nice thing about the cable car route is it does take you directly over the ship's mooring. So as you pass over, uh, you can come that out of Mount nice, Faber. Isn't it? Pass over the the cruise harbour terminal. You actually pass directly over the swimming pool deck. Yeah, uh, it's quite nice to yeah. see the discovery from that uh, discovery too from that angle. Um, nice. On Sentosa Island itself, you also realise as you're coming down on the cable car, what's there? Uh, there's the Universal Studios Resort with its rides and everything else like that. There's like a Sea World type place, which didn't look uh, that amazing, did it? Yeah. No, I didn't like it. There was, you could see the dolphins um, in the pools, and there was a lot of dolphins to not not a very big pool. Yeah, really. it didn't, it did, yeah. Let's hope they got something going on in the background that you know improves yeah. the welfare of of the animals yeah. there. Um, and then you can, you can see there's like Madame Two Swords yeah. and all sorts of things there. But there's also some incredible beaches and nature trails as amazing, well. Amazing, the beach that we yeah. went on, wasn't it? Really was. What we'd like to have done is spend more time there. We obviously didn't have a lot of time. Yeah. Um, so we did, because I'd like to have done all the nature trails, which do take it's you through lovely, some rainforest yeah. and stuff like that. But, um, you know, time was limited. Peacocks walking around as well. Yeah, you there. enjoyed that. <laughs> so we went over to Silozo. Uh, beach um, which is on the uh, western edge of the island and um, the sand was amazing wasn't it? Oh, lovely white sand really nice it's it's a pristine beach uh, yeah. fully netted and safe for swimming and, and all of yeah. that and uh, backed by a few beach bars as well it had a little boardwalk didn't it to this little island it did yeah it was yeah. A kind of like a, a man-made reef off off the shore there and um, you, there's a little boardwalk you can walk out which yeah. is quite like a pontoon um, and you can see all the fish and all oh, that. There was some lovely fish yeah. there. Yeah, um, I took some nice videos of the fish. So we nice had fish. some time on the beach and it was good quality time and we really, yeah. really enjoyed it. We decided we'd end our time at Singapore by sitting on that lovely beach and having a beer. Yeah. So we had an Asahi in the beach bar. And of course, because it's a tourist resort uh, it's and it's Singapore, <laughs> it was probably one of the more expensive bottles of beer I've bought in my life. Uh, definitely prices comparable to Norway and Iceland, I would suggest, on that beach. Um, but, um, it's because of all the taxes and that that they add on, yeah, isn't the, it? Yeah, the taxes are, yeah. actually bump up the cost quite a lot. Uh, we were quite surprised how much they actually uh, increased the price just for sitting down at a table. Um, so, <laughs> anyway, so, uh, but it was a lovely setting and really, really uh, it was nice, yeah. brilliant way to end mm. our sort of time in Singapore mm -hmm. because that was it. You know, we don't get yeah. any more time to do anything like that in Singapore, sadly. Yeah. Um, so then it was back on the cable car, um, back over, we got off at the harbour front uh, station, which meant we didn't have to go back down through the rainforest walk. I wouldn't have minded going down though, if <laughs> it's the walk car. <laughs> yeah, never mind, no better for next time. But, um, and then it was back on board the ship, a little bit of Wi-Fi before yeah. boarded the ship, yeah. um, and then uh, on the ship, a bit of lunch, 
Yeah. Uh, there was kind of like a sail and shine thing going on, or the band came, were playing out, but the heavens opened, didn't it? It did, <laughs> the afternoon. Yeah. So having a kind of sail away party, and the sail away <laughs> was really nice to see it sailing away out of Singapore. But just as we yeah. were doing that, the rain came down, yeah. and uh, the kind of the onboard sail and shine party got kind of paused temporarily because uh, <laughs> it really wasn't safe for the musicians to be out there with all that electrics, <laughs> with that rain coming down. But um, and then uh, we found a nice little sheltered area on the promenade deck to have a bit of a doze and a read yeah. a book and all that. But it wasn't raining then anyway; it hadn't got stopped, wasn't it? So um, yeah, you, you had to sleep. I did. I read a book. You did, yeah, yeah, and um, yeah, that was nice. And then in the evening, it was you know, change, get dressed, bite to eat, which was yeah. nice. Um, and then we watched a bit of live music. Didn't we, we watched a bit of live music. There's uh, some of the house bands. We watched both of them last night. There's one called Music Unlimited, yeah. and there's the other one called The Collective. Except it's a different collective from the collective we've seen on yeah. other yeah. Relic- I don't know what it is about the collective, but they this had a completely around. completely different lineup. Um, they must have a collective. People. They've got a collective of collectives. I think they just rotate them around. Um, but yeah, so it was good to see some live music. And then there was a pub quiz in the Squid and Anchor. Oh, that was night. a bit of fun, wasn't it? A bit of yeah. fun, yeah. yeah. They, they kind of, didn't win as usual. No, no let's pass over that. Yeah. Um, but we kind of matched up with kind of a, like a pub event. They had some darts going on. Yeah. And, you know, they also had a gen- game of Jenga going on, which is also quite a bit of fun. Um, and then finished off with the silent disco, yeah, the silent which disco had a few technical, issues, a few technical problems last night. Yeah. Um, and uh, it wasn't silent for a lot of it, was it? No. <laughs> no, um, they, they just really couldn't suss it out, could they? They were getting some radio interference on the on the headset, yeah. so they, at times they just resorted to uh, um, just playing it over the over yeah. the speakers here. Yeah. Um, but that was fine. It was a nice way to end the evening. A few drinks, bed, lots of sleep. Up late this morning. Okay, yeah. Another, it's a and day at sea, sea today, and we'll, we'll, we'll see what goes on. I think there's a few activities you want to go to today, mm. isn't there? So, yeah, okay, cool. Well, we'll let you know how we get on tomorrow. But yeah. tomorrow, we should be in Bangkok, hopefully, all going well. Yay, so, exciting. looking forward to that. All right, all right then. take care. Cheers. Bye. Bye. If you like what we do, why not like and subscribe? Cheers. Bye.